know we worked for 16 and a half hours yesterday. Four and a half hours of that was driving. Part two of today's wedding here at Park Savoy. It's really bright. And then we had to teach a workshop today. <laughs> we only had like five hours of sleep, maybe six hours of sleep. friends and uh, having a good time tonight. Mingling. So we're here to meet with uh, another one of our friends here in Barcelona. So many of our American friends here in Barcelona, it's like crazy. And we're only here for like a week. So we're here in the middle of Barcelona with the one and only Senor Pac. We're lost, we're lost right now. You're really good at the exaggerating the situation. <laughs> we lost our, uh, our tour guide. We lost our host and alcohol provider. We have no idea where she went. She went to her house, but we can't supposed to know. <laughs> so we can't help either. About 5.35 a.m. We have a sunrise shoot planned for this morning at the Barcelona waterfront. It's really early. This should be a good time. Six o'clock. This is our couple right here. Look! Look how beautiful they look. Good morning. This early in the morning. Wow! What a way to spend your first time in um, first Barcelona. Morning. First morning in Barcelona, <laughs> and hanging out with me. I was telling Miguel that you guys are kind of following us because this is technically our honeymoon. I know. I know. <laughs> well, like last hour. <laughs> you know what? Know. I've been I've been photographing weddings for about almost ten years, and couples always say, "Hey, Ben and Karen, you should come with us on our honeymoon." Yeah. I think this is the first time it actually happened. I know. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this shoot done. Look at what we make our clients do. It hardly seems natural. All right, so we just wrapped up our session here with Christine, Miguel, Inez, and this girl over here. 
She's been following us around all day. <laughs> You've been following me around all day. <laughs> we had a great time. We did a little sightseeing today, got a little lost, and then we learned that Christine really, really likes bread. I like bread. <laughs> I like bread. <laughs> All right, guys, see you back in the States. Bye. Bye. Her face? No. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm sleeping right now. Are my eyes open? Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can see myself. <laughs> Are my eyes open or no? Yes. Uh oh, how about now? <laughs> <laughs> in Valencia, hungry, starving, like any self-respecting American, went to the first place that I could find, right here. <laughs> So we were sitting in traffic in the in the cab for like the longest time and we couldn't figure out why. And I saw a little girl uh, lighting up a, a Roman candle. I was like, what the hell is going on? They're actually celebrating their own little fire festival. It's, uh, I think it's Las Fias de Valencia, where they have paper mache statues uh, in the neighborhoods and stuff. There's like a little parade and maybe burn it and stuff in, uh, in celebration of the coming of spring. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna get to see a lot more cooler stuff. So I'm very excited about that. You excited? She's excited. minutes. I think we're trapped inside the parade room. It's like a stampede of people. It's like if there was a zombie apocalypse, the world would be over pretty quickly. So our week here in Barcelona has finally come to a close. Barcelona, it's been fun.